Hey everyone, welcome back. I am back today with more Jujutsu Kaisen, you guys. Last time was really good and I feel like we're setting up for something really big and I'm like anticipating and excited and a little bit scared. Um, I, I think it's gonna be really good or really bad or really bad but like in a way that's done good. I don't know, I don't know <laughs> if you follow that logic but I can't wait to find out. Um, so yeah, guys, I will just kind of briefly get into any lingering thoughts that I have on last week's episode. Before I do that, I do just want to say if you're joining me early today, you know just what that means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so very much. And as always, I'm sending you up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, Still, thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in that description down below. If you're joining me on those YouTubes, I really hope you'll hit like and subscribe for me. It helps me and my channel a whole lot. So thank you in advance for that. Um, all right, guys. We had a really cool fight with Yuji last time, which I think really highlighted like where Yuji's at mentally, how far he's come. It was kind of fun, almost like, I don't want to call it like lighthearted because obviously like, you know, watching this giant grasshopper thing like munch on a corpse is really not lighthearted, but there was almost kind of like a lighthearted nature in the like personality of the grasshopper thing, uh, curse that we were fighting, um, that kind of made it a little bit, I don't know, it, 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 it kind of lightened the mood for me. <laughs> Just the whole like clever thing and how it was so like fixated on being clever. Um, but yeah, Yuji was the more clever individual in the end, which I was pretty sure was going to be the case. But um, even like Mei Mei was like, hey, good job. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, then of course we ended off with this kind of like standoff that we're getting into between a lot of Ghetto's crew and Gojo. Um, Gojo kind of played along and like walked into their trap because sort of like, you know, eyes, I'm, I hate to say eyes wide open when <laughs> it's, it's, it's a little too close to home, but um, you know, pretty much intentionally was like, let's see how this plays out. Um, and <sighs> Honestly, this is why I've been going back and forth on. Like, I know that Gojo knows what he's doing, and I know he's so flippin' powerful, but, like, I really also don't want to underestimate Gato and, like, how far had he's planned either, but I don't think he wants to underestimate Gojo either, so, like, I don't know. I really don't know who's gonna come out on top or, like, what's gonna happen, um... But I know the whole thing with the bystanders and everything, like, that's why I say, like, it's weird to say it was, like... I guess maybe we had a little bit of a lighter moment with the fight with Yuji, but then, like, as soon as that's over, it's like, oh, it's just, like, killing bystanders and stuff. Cool, cool, okay. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I think it's going to be really intense no matter what. Um, I'm excited. Again, I'm a little bit scared to see just how this is all going to play out, but, um, you guys, there's only one way to find out what exactly is going to happen, and that is to just jump right into the next episode of Jujutsu Kaisen. Let's do this. Oh, what do you think of... Oh. He kind of, like, raised... Okay, yeah, they haven't had as much interaction. Oh! <laughs> Salmon meaning he's an idiot. Oh. A lot of varied opinions here. He is the strongest. I think we can all agree. Oh god, I'm so that was a very cute, wholesome way to start this off. I'm scared. Whoa. Whoa, 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 what? Hold on, what happened here? Why are you all he was just Huh? Yep. Oh. Wow. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, he's, oh, he's like on another level. He really is. Oh. He made it look like he was going after, what's, what is their name again? Was it Hanami? I can't remember. 
Gotcha. Uh oh. Ah! <laughs> oh my god! That was... Oh, is that? Oh! 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 Gojo's kind of oh! Oh my god! Was it their head with the things ripped out? Uh. Um. Oh, he's a you know he he is a little bit scary when he gets in the zone, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I love him. You know. You know I love him, but. I mean, there's something a little bit otherworldly about his presence right now. Oh, my God. Oh, he's trying to distract him so they can't finish off. Oh, I don't think it's going to work. I think he's... Oh, he's about... Okay, yep. He's... Wow. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh. 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 Oh my god, he's just on another freaking level. Okay. Okay. Oh! It does kind of seem like they were set up for failure, doesn't it? Oh, that's not going to say. I mean, this just turned into a horror movie, though, when Gojo is the... <laughs> I mean, he's almost... I'm almost kind of scared. Oh! Uh, yeah, no, it's not going to... Yeah, I'm like, I feel like maybe he's not... Yeah... They were assuming he'd do anything he could to avoid people getting in the way of harm, but I feel like maybe he's just going to kind of keep his focus real sharp on them and be like, okay, well, I can't save everyone. Oh! And they turned her anyway, and they... Oh! They all got... So there's a bunch of... On the, tr on the train? So there's a train coming and it's full of, like, human curses? Is that... Is that... Oh, please don't, Rob. Please don't. Oh, oh God. This is going to be so awful. This is going to be so awful. <laughs> no. Oh... Uh... It's a train full. They turned a bunch of humans, and now they're going to let them loose. Oh, that is nasty. That is absolutely, that is, oh, that is, oh, crap. That is, that is foul. Yeah, like that even, no, don't, don't with, don't with the, enth don't with the enthusiasm right now. Don't, don't start with me. No. Um, about that, Hanami is, wow. Uh, that, I'm like, Hanami got taken down in like, <laughs> seriously, like 35 seconds. Ooh, what? Wow. Oh, I didn't like that noise. I don't, oh. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, all right. This is not just a hostage situation anymore of like trying to. Oh, I mean, this is pure carnage. And that's how I feel like he's, I, you know what I mean, though? But this is a little bit more than a big, this is a little bit more than a sacrifice. Now that's what they're trying to. <sighs> they
that's the thing. It's like, it's one thing if people get caught in the way of it, that's not really on him if, in his estimation. But, like, if he uses something that actually takes them all out. Oh, he's going to do it? Oh, he's, gonna, he's like, you know what? If I can save other people and get rid of... He made his choice. He made his choice that he was going to get rid of these curses. And that would be his way of making up for the people who died. Whoa! Oh! Two tenths of a second? He was tr okay. So he his plan is to use it, but try and use it in such a short amount of time that the effects are minimized or possibly avoided. Is that correct? Oh, and he's going through and trying to get rid of all the curses in that time. I mean, half a year's worth of info would be a lot. Would it be enough to permanently damage them beyond all repair? I guess we'll find out. Oh, wow. That is how much he, so he, wow, he like really, really, really held it back. He can control it so precisely. That's insane. Oh my God, look at him. Okay, he's like, I got to do this fast. <laughs> it's unreal. I can't believe he was able to do all this. Like I can and I can't. That it better not be. Okay, I was going to say that it better not be the end. Thousand! Holy crap! Wow! What is that? Don't. Oh, that's the. Okay. Uh oh. I almost forgot. The whole point of this was to get him. Oh, crap. Oh! And he's going to come out himself for this one. Oh, crap. He's a heap. He's the last, last, last time he saw him, he was dead. That's going to throw him, isn't it? That's going to throw him. And now that we know their history together, we know just how hard this is hitting. No! That was a whole minute? He doesn't even believe it's really him. He doesn't even believe it. Cause he's like, no, I killed you. But he can't really even believe it, though. Oh. It's not really him? So, oh my god. I mean, I knew he was sewn up, but I figured it had something to do with... No! Are you kidding me? Oh God. Yeah, we need to get to him. We need to get to him. <gasps> oh, it's done. They sealed him. Oh my God. What just happened? What just happened? What just happened? So let me get this straight. Gojo has been sealed. And you know what? I didn't it didn't even occur to me for a minute. 
that like that would take him so off his guard to see Gato again. That that would be so. Now I'm wondering, was any of that? And that probably what's probably the actual case is that Hanami, the brother person, uh, Jogo, were all sent out in the curses. Were more or less just sent out to wear him down somewhat. They were never really intended to stall him for that minute that was needed in order to open the gate. What was really going to stall him was the utter shock of seeing Ghetto alive again. Guys, it never once occurred to me that that wasn't even really Ghetto. Did it occur to you? Because it didn't occur to me. I just assumed. Because we have, we have Mahito who's like, they literally call him Patchface. I'm like, somebody just patched something or other up and used some kind of curse mumbo jumbo... And now Gato's alive again. I, like, I didn't question it. I did not question it. I noticed that he had the thing, and I'm like, right, because he's like a Frankenstein's monster kind of type now. Which I mean is not untrue, because we literally put another brain. So what, I'm, okay. Again, I apologize, because I am not fully comprehending what just happened there. Can someone clarify for me who they are trying to say that this person is? Because when they mentioned Yuta Okotsu, initially I was like, oh my god, are they trying to say that that's what happened here? Like, that's like... But then, like, I don't... Th I don't think that's what they're trying to say, or is it? I think they just mentioned him because he was there when the whole thing went down with Gojo having to kill Geto. And we know that, technically speaking, Yuta is, like, a distant relative of Gojo's. And was he trying to say, like, you can't, that Yuta can't replace Gojo? Or was, because the way my brain took that initially, and I don't know if it was correct, I'm going to feel really, really silly if I completely took that the wrong way. Because initially, like, I was thinking something happened Somehow this is some combination of Yuta and Gato, but I don't know if that's what's going on. Because Yuta hasn't been around, but I thought that was because of what happened in the movie. Not because of... But then we know that, like, Fushiguro was saying, like, he wanted to face him and everything. Like, he respected him and stuff. So I don't I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know, you guys. Somebody help. What is happening? How did how did this happen? Who is who is I'd hate to say who is the brains behind this operation because <laughs> it's just too on the nose. But I'm like, help. Send help. My own brain clearly is not functioning as well as the brain is. <laughs> Gato's body. So that's what it is, though. It's somebody literally controlling Gato's body. That's what it is. I'm just not clear on what exactly they're trying to tell me about the specifics of that. But in any event, Gojo is sealed. And we need to do something immediately. Because from the sounds of it, Gato is not planning on releasing Gojo for, like, hundreds of years. Um, wow. Guys, can we just agree that Gojo was, like, on another level? Like, we've seen him let loose a little bit, and this wasn't even, like, what's so crazy about this is that during that whole scene, he's not even really letting loose. He's using such a limited version that, like, it it doesn't completely fry the brains of the non-sorcerers. I mean, that was, that was brilliant. That was absolutely flipping brilliant. And even then, they're going to need recovery time. So, like, imagine what would actually happen if he... I mean, it would, you would just be like, yeah, you would just be destroyed but that was like that was that was nuts like 
seeing him in action and seeing him really like when he really gets into that mode he's like a feral beast I mean the like the eyes and the smile and everything it's so funny because usually he's so kind of happy-go-lucky and almost kind of like has a smooth sort of quality but I mean like when he lets loose it's not like an aggressive rar scary it's like a it there there is like a like almost like a cold but like absolutely terrifying aspect you know what I mean oh my god that was that was something that was really something <laughs> it was so clever the way that he ended up handling that situation I honestly I was like is he really for real making this decision just thinking like okay but think of all the people who will be saved like it's you know you got you got to do what you got to do no he he had a plan but now I'm thinking the plan the whole time wasn't even like that was all just kind of to put him that was to make him even put forth a little bit of effort to the point where he was winded and the real plan was for ghetto to come out oh guys I'm reeling right now I am reeling send help um <laughs> dang it that was so good um I I'm I absolutely have no idea what is gonna happen next um this is taking such a turn like I know the plan was to seal him and I know that there's got to be a way to help him but the fact that we got there so fast with this kind of twist like makes my head spin and I just have no, and, and we are so early on in the story too. Like this was not a final development. That, so like we have many, many episodes left. So like who even knows where this is going, you guys. But man, fantastic episode. I mean, watching Gojo in action was like <laughs> out of this world. Um, so yeah, uh, I am confused. I am scared. I am intrigued. And I can't wait for the next one. Um... I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. Please do not leave me now. I literally do not think I can do this without you. Please be sure to join me next time. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.